Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what's coming up for you the next couple of days or weeks. Um, it, there is going to be an extension, a part two to this reading and in part two, we're just going to explore the messages in more depth and more detail and that's going to be made available via the extension link below. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is also going to be listed below the video. Otherwise, let's go ahead and begin. What's coming in for you guys over the next couple of weeks, next couple of days even? I'm just going to pull out a bunch of cards. Okay, you do have the um, you have the fool and you have the three of wands, and both figures here are standing on the edge of a ledge, on the edge of a precipice. I feel like it's I feel like it's a powerful message. It's a powerful message for you to take a leap of faith on a certain situation. Okay, you might not have all the information. You might have some doubts. You might have some reservations, um, but. I feel like you have to trust yourself. You have to trust yourself. You have to trust in the magic of the universe, in your own magic. Um, and you have to trust in the things that are meant for you. Because here's the thing, you guys, are, you know, your air signs, you have a tendency to overthink and overanalyze. And whilst that can be a good thing sometimes, sometimes it works against you. Because when you get in your head, you really stay there. You really overthink and you really, you know, you become this diagnostician. You start dissecting every little thing and then... The thing with that is sometimes overthinkers start constructing stories that aren't necessarily real to begin with because you're just so much in your head. And sometimes overthinking something, right, giving it too much mental energy can, you know, can lead to moments of hesitation, can lead to not taking any action at all. So it's so important that you do take a leap of faith, no matter how big or small this leap of faith is. Um, whether a leap of faith means, you know, give this person a go, give this connection a go, whether it, it means you finding, you know, ripping off the band-aid and just going ahead and doing whatever it is that you've been intending to do. You've been planning for so long, I feel like it's time to take action. And for some of you, I feel like you're a little bit scared. You're a little bit, um, you know, you have your hesitancies, you have your doubts, you have your anxieties, you have your, okay, what if, and, you know, but this or but that. And the thing is, I feel like the universe knows that you're ready. Maybe you don't quite know. So what's going to happen is the universe is going to put you in a bit of an uncomfortable situation, okay, where you're going to actually have no choice but to take action. You're going to have no choice but to respond. However, you know, whatever your action may be and whatever your response may be, you're going to have no choice but to react to a certain situation. Um, also, over the next few days or weeks, I see someone here coming back into your life, okay? Someone who has potentially fallen off your radar, someone who I feel like has maybe disappeared is going to come back maybe as quickly as they disappeared with the magicians and the fool's energy this is someone who's going to just kind of waltz back into your life pretending like they didn't do you wrong pretending like you know they never left you pretending like things aren't awkward between the two of you this person is like and i don't even see them holding themselves accountable for their actions or lack of so it's so important that you know you don't Ignore that. You hold them accountable. It's so important that, you know, you call them out if they did ghost you or if they did end things abruptly with you. Because this is someone who I feel like is just going to come back and just walk back into your life and try to pick things up where they left off. Um, and it's not simple because the energy seem to indicate a lot has changed between you and this individual. Um, you've come up as a four of swords and a five of swords here. Interesting. And there is a little bit of pain in your energy, okay? There is this notion of you're hurt. Something someone says has hurt you. Or perhaps the way in which you acted, you've hurt yourself. Um, and it feels like there is something here that needs to be healed, okay? I feel like there may be some sort of 
you had, and this is with a really close connecting energy, you've had a fight or a disagreement or an altercation here in which maybe you regret saying some of the things that you said. Maybe, um, you know, you regret hurting the person or saying what you said in the way that you said it. Or maybe you regret hearing what you heard. I don't know what it is exactly, but I see you being hurt. I see, you, you know, Four of Swords is a wounded soldier that lies at rest. He needs to recuperate. He needs to get better. He needs to get well. Um, it needs to do it soon. So this is you. Like, don't act like you're not hurt. Don't pretend like what they said didn't bother you. Or don't pretend like the, that this altercation or this fight, you know, didn't bother you. When it clearly does. So if you're hurt, your feelings are absolutely validated. And, it's, you know, it's important that you communicate that. It's important that you, you know, admit that you're hurt. Um, like, don't let it become an ego thing. Because um, I do. For a lot of you, I see that you're... There is some sort of um, some sort of fight, some sort of dispute, some sort of altercation that involves you directly. And I don't know if you've started it. I don't know if you just happen to be a part of it. I don't know if it was like, you know, you were targeted. I don't know exactly what this is, but it just feels like you, you know, someone might be weaponizing their words. You know, you end up on the receiving end of this pain. You end up being very hurt by maybe, you know, what happened, maybe the way in which things happened. But you absolutely need to heal you you need to take the time to heal yourself. You need to <clears throat> excuse me, take the time to pull away and you know, gather your thoughts, gather your emotions and take as long of a time as you need. Also, with the hangman's energy, I feel like something that has been stagnant for you for quite some time is finally um going to see a breakthrough of some sort. So Things may have slowed down in different areas of your life, in your love life, uh, with career, finance, or just just in general, right? Something that feels very stagnated, something that feels like, you know, it's reached, it's hit a bit of a dead wall, a dead end, a dead end, not a dead wall. Um, it's, it's slowed down or, you know, it just wasn't happening for you or you felt like there was a lot of plans, you know, going back to maybe the whole you planning something, but, you know, not a lot of action happening there. I feel like you're finally going to see a breakthrough. You're finally going to see momentum. The delay, that whole stagnation, that whole delay process was absolutely crucial for you. It was so important that, you know, that happened for you because you weren't aware of it, but what was happening during that delay, I feel like it maybe allowed you to get a better perspective on things. It maybe allowed you to see things from a different angle, consider someone else's point of view. So whatever that delay was for you, I feel like it was absolutely purposeful. I'm also seeing um, a lot of alignment for you. Um, you know, you've got the lovers card. I feel like there are things that are going to be popping up for you. Um, things that you're you're attracting, right? In the next couple of days, weeks, even months to come. Um, so for example, certain people, certain networking connections, certain possibilities, offers or opportunities. Um, yeah, it could be right place at the right time, but I also feel like it's because you're aligning with these people. They're responding to the energy and the frequency they're you're pointing out okay they're responding they're paralleling they're matching your efforts your energy here um so you are attracting um the right people the right you know person the right situation the right circumstance because you are coming into soulful alignment i'm also seeing that there is a choice an important choice or a decision that you're going to have to make you need to make it and maybe it's something that you've been thinking about and something that you've been planning on but I feel like there is some sort of choice that needs deciding. It's some choice that needs making. Um, you guys are, you know, you guys are quite, you look at things from a logical standpoint. I mean, you guys like to intellectualize things because you are air signs and air signs are governed by mental energy. So I get that. But this choice or decision, this needs to be made with your head heart rather than your head and that's absolutely important for you to know because a lot of the times you guys like to you know intellectualize things but this decision your if you follow your head your head's going to make the wrong decision for you you're going to have to follow your heart because the right decision is going to come from your heart 
So whether it's, you know, deciding what path it is you want to take, whether it's deciding whether or not you want to start this thing now or later, whether it's deciding, you know, having to choose between two different romantic prospects or partners, whatever this is for you, you're going to have to decide, okay? And only you can decide. Um, so, and just make sure that it's good for you. Just make sure that decision that you make is a decision that puts you in your happy place, is, is a decision that, you know, you, you feel happy and you feel good about. Um, and it's not something that's going to, um, you know, threaten your peace of mind and your happiness. Something is coming to a culmination of some sort. Something here, I feel like something has been building and building and building for quite some time. Very slowly though. Okay, whether it's a connection, whether it's some sort of opportunity, whether it's some sort of process. It just feels like, you know, you're near the end. You are. There's a culmination. The end is in sight. Something is finally being finalized. Some offer is being presented. Um, someone is coming back or a connection is finally going to receive traction, momentum. Don't give up now because you're so close to seeing results and rewards. Alright guys, and this is it for part one. In part two, I just want to follow on with the messages and I just want to see maybe more about this romantic energy. Um, more about this uh, choice that you might have to make and just see what else the cards have in store for you. So follow me to part two via the extension link below. If, you've, if you haven't already, please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.